Hey guys, so we're back in my bathroom and today I'm going to do an Odalisk inspired makeup tutorial. Stay tuned! So, first I'm going to apply an eye primer by rubbing it gently with my finger and this will create a nice base for the eyeshadow. And now, duct tape. Because I want to do a really cool cat winged eyeliner so, and I'm not very good with it, I use this technique and this will help me have kind of the same line on both eyes, so yeah, really really cool. So, like this, da 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 da, the trick is to have it look the same and this wasn't so I had to take it out again to put it on, so yeah. And I do this right after I moisturize and prime my face. No, just moisturize my face. Still haven't primed it. Ooh, I'll prime it later after I finish the eyes. Dun, dun, dun. Now, let's go with a base color so the rest of the eyeshadow sticks on my eyes. And like this, petting motions, da 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 da. Just a nice base to where I'm going to apply eyeshadow. Now let's start with a blending color and I chose a light purple to apply to my crease area and my outer corner just a little bit and now we start blending everything. There will be a lot, a lot of blending on this eye makeup. So I create a nice smooth line and I wanted to make this a long lasting makeup so yeah lots lots of blending so this was for my carnival ball so yeah it had to last the entire night now a shiny light purple just on my crease area and yeah blend 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 so i wanted this to last the entire night and i was going to dance a lot as i usually do so yeah it had to be bulletproof and also I could exaggerate it now let's have a sh uh, back to the light purple the first one yeah. and now a little bit of white just in that area to make it shine a little bit because we're going to add another eyeshadow later And always use tapping motion. See? No rubbing. Love it. I love this color. It has kind of a golden sheen to it, so yay. Perfect. I'm just going to try to apply some fixing spray to this eyeshadow. It's a golden one. And I not really golden but kind of copperish. And I really like the punch it gives when I apply make a fixer to it before uh, putting it on my eyes. It becomes more poof. Now let's go to some loose pigments because this can't be just a shiny purplish. Now let's get this loose eyeshadow just right in the outer corner of my eyes. And then I'll start blending it outwards and to my crease just a little bit well, as you can see I'm starting to do the eyeliner part with this loose eyeshadow and this is the main reason why I didn't apply my face makeup before the eyes because as you can see it has a lot of fallout so yeah now I'll start blending it to my crease it looks kind of messy because it was my first time working with loose pigments but I swear by the end this is nice yeah it kind of sucks right now so we are going to fix it and I have pigments all over my face amazing now let's clean this up a bit with that copperish 
goldenish color again. And we're going to do this a lot, going back and forth, like I said. So I'll clean that later. Now eyeliner and as usual, I light everything fall on the floor. And I'm going to use a gel eyeliner with an angled brush. My line, I just noticed that my eyeliner is getting kind of dry, so I have to work it a little bit more. But well, nothing a little patient and an hour in the bathroom won't do. So now I'm just going to follow my eyes and that duct tape thingy mark on my face. I don't want to make a really thick eyeliner, however at the same time it has to be like really really noticeable. So it's not a soft look. So now onto the other eye and let's try to make it even because I have a gift, I never can make even eyeliner, ah! Now I also drive this to the inner corner and now priming time! Eyes are done, face is clean, now, now time to put on the primer before going on to the rest of the makeup. Woohoo! Hallelujah! And I still haven't finished the eyes, don't worry. Now color correcting, I am going to get rid of my dark circles using the yellow color correcting on my panda eyes and I blended it with my fingers and I remember I haven't wet my sponge oops and I'm going to try to blend it with my beauty sponge but I don't really like that much I, in the end I just use my fingers so yeah now fixing the eyes because damn you that eh, kind of looks okay. So now it's time for green to. Oops, there goes my headband. Time for green to hide the reddish parts, and my hair sucks this time, so I need fresh and blue. And now time to blend, blend, blend the green. Foundation. I use a liquid foundation for this look because I don't want to look cakey. On the rest of the face so time to blend in the foundation this is a high coverage one again this has to last all night so yeah it's an HD foundation so blend 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 tap 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 with my beauty sponge and the second layer and now for concealer dun, dun, dun. I make these triangles and then I blend them with my beauty sponge and then I realize I hate blending concealer with my beauty sponge so there go my fingers I love this concealer it covers everything but we do need to layer it a bit and it works better with my fingers because the warmth helps to blend in better now baking because this has to last all night and while dancing so I'm going to sweat like a pig so bake this concealer and now eyebrows I usually use powder to fill in my eyebrows I should do my eyebrows but I'm being kind of lazy so let's just fill them in and then brush with my silly so they look nice and feathery and everything looks blended in my nose itches and I can't scratch it now let's set the rest of the face with a powder this doesn't have color to me 
so yay done face is set now contour I'm just going to contour my cheek and under my chin I'm going for a dramatic look so I don't mind exaggerating a bit now goof everything with my kabuki brush now for blush I can't decide which one that one no this one pink the outfit is going to be pink so I'm going to use pink blush again carnival I can exaggerate on makeup so ta -da! <laughs> I have another mirror there too, so check better on stuff now I'm going to layer with this blush so let's exaggerate this and look like pink now i'm going to top i know you can shouldn't put on cream on top of powder however i'm going to put this highlighter and then top it with a powder highlighter to set it and give it a little extra punch so i'm applying on top of my cheek area and under my eyebrows as well and a little on the bridge of my nose because again i'm an odalisk or i'm going to be an odalisk so i can wear this exaggerated now I'm going to apply highlighter with an angular brush, this golden one that I love, and on everywhere I need. Ta -da -da -da. Let's look shiny. And I don't apply no clean. I don't apply highlighter anywhere else. Now I've cleaned the rest of the baking and going back to my gel eyeliner. And let's finish up the eyes. So the waterline, I'm going to use the gel eyeliner. This doesn't burn my eyes, so I really love this gel eyeliner. And this will last every single bit of dancing. So I won't melt away by the end of the night with this eyeliner. So it's better than to use my normal uh, eyeliner pencil. And touch-ups, because the chips. Now I'm just going to set the eyeliner with some black uh, eyeshadow so it doesn't melt away. This way I'm sure it won't melt and ruin my makeup. Ta -da! And I've lost stuff. Now just touching up that golden eyeshadow I love so it's more noticeable. See? Ta -da! And pigments, pigments everywhere. Now let's set everything in place so it doesn't move or budge and lot of sick fixing spray. La -da 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 -da. Now for mascara. I want these big big lashes. But I don't want to use falsies, so I'll use a great mascara for that. And the reason why I'm applying it after the fixing spray, it's because I don't want it to be really hard to remove. That's why I don't use water mascara most of the time, unless it's like pouring outside. And like this, the fixing spray won't smudge my mascara and it also won't fix it a lot on my eyelashes, which means that by the end of the night when I'm going to remove this makeup, it won't be that difficult to take it off. So, yay! Now I have my really long mascara my really long lashes and I'm going to touch up the waterline because it kind of moved a bit with the spray and now it won't move now touching up the eyelight because I want to be shiny now let's see a little bit of shine on the inner corners with that golden highlight I just used on the rest of the face just a little bit because I'm already shiny everywhere. Now, lips. I'm going to rock this red, red lip. So I'm going to um, outline them before with my pencil. Ta-da! 
Now let's start the really long process of having long lasting red lips. So I'm using this lip cream and let's do this for this. One layer and then on a piece of tissue to remove the excess then another layer. And then again on the tissue to remove the excess. And another layer. If you do this patiently, you'll have red lips for the entire night. That lipstick won't budge, trust me. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So don't forget to click the bell button and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more tips on how to do makeup. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!